Carried interest is a fundamental part of private equity, venture capital, and real estate investment models. But what exactly is carried interest? And why is it appropriately taxed as capital gains income? To answer those questions, let's start from the beginning. Private equity firms partner with investors, creating a pool of capital to buy and strengthen companies over time. The investors contribute capital to the fund, and the private equity partners contribute both capital and entrepreneurial expertise. When the private equity firm sells a company, often three to seven years later, its limited partners, pension funds, university endowments, and charitable foundations receive their initial investment and a guaranteed rate of return, usually 8%, plus 80% of the profits thereafter. The remaining 20% of the profits goes to the private equity firm. This is called a carried interest. For 100 years, the U.S. tax code has appropriately treated carried interest as a capital gain. The rationale is based on the uniquely American principle of rewarding those who take entrepreneurial risk, whether that risk involves investing capital or operational expertise, or in the case of private equity, both. Let's use a simple example to illustrate why carried interest is a capital gain. Mary and Jen are two sisters who decide to open a restaurant together. They form a partnership in which Mary contributes all of the startup capital and Jen contributes her expertise and sweat equity to open the restaurant and run the day-to-day -day operations. They agree that Mary will receive an 80% ownership stake in the restaurant and Jen a 20% stake. Over time, the sisters build up their business. They hire a staff, purchase supplies from local vendors, and stimulate the economy of the surrounding community. For years, Jen earns a steady salary and pays ordinary income taxes on her salary. Years later, the sisters decide to sell the restaurant, and because they were successful, they sell it at a profit. Mary, who contributed the capital, and Jen, who contributed her expertise, are treated the same for tax purposes. Because they are both owners of the restaurant, they both pay capital gains on their share of the profits from the sale of the restaurant. The tax code treats them both equally because of their contributions to growing the enterprise. Private equity investment partnerships work in the same way. The private equity firm contributes sweat equity by forming the investment fund, identifying the companies to buy, and applying expertise to improve the purchased companies over time. By fairly treating carried interest as a capital gain, the U.S. tax code is providing an incentive for private equity to take risks, invest hundreds of billions of dollars of capital in new and existing businesses, and contribute sweat equity to improve those businesses over time. This leads to stronger, more innovative, and more valuable companies and communities across America, while providing financial security for millions of Americans. That's private equity at work.